Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really, really appreciate. If today the first time you are coming across or so you are hearing our voice for the first time, we still remain your one and only progress news as we bring you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we don't hide anything and we are so sincere and straightforward. So, my realistic people, today I have another one that I want to share with you. You know, I, I promise you that. I will keep giving you the update no matter what. I will keep making you so current and we are going to deliberate on it towards your opinion in the comment section. So my colleagues, people, a lot has been going on of which you know. And two days ago, what I want to talk about, I want to talk about uh, Governor Soludo. Soludo just referred to uh, Simon Ekpa as um, somebody that is mad. That he don't know what he's doing. But I want to expatiate on it more better. But before then, I want you to listen to uh, Governor Soludo. Then I will be right back. Eight local governments were totally taken over by the criminals. Not any more of you. Sinafabo unknown government. They are not unknown government. They are known government. On the Murufa, Kassina village is Abota. But I said that we must take back an umbra from the criminals. And I think so far, family, if an end, man. Family, if an end, Most of the bushes and the forest, I know you have all said that. And last week or so, one madman, not a Finland. So they had to declare five days in at home, in the southeast. Oh, so now I'm breaking for us in at home. Is your book as it? Oh, so now I'm breaking for us in at home. And I will continue to go. And on the day of holiday, not that we will stop that seat at home. We can't continue that way. You lose one day in a week, productivity is down and so on and so forth. I know that several people have become used to taking for walking for four days and happy about it. But if we go in your house, someone na we are there to fear na they believe or they are. But no, we will get back to work full scale, walking five days in a week the criminals we must take back our number we cannot build our number to be that very prosperous homeland when we walk for four days and when our children go to school for only four days then I find our compete in the rest of the country and I go out for five days then I go for four then we have a public service that works for four days. You cannot deliver the same thing as those who offer for five days. We must take back our state. We must take back the public service and the workers and the markets and so on and so forth to get on full charge. Otherwise, we are losing 20% of the five. If you are supposed to work for five and you work for four, it's 20% lost. 20% of the work lost to each week, you can calculate what it means for the rest of the year. We will take our number back because security law and order must come back fully in our number. The criminals must give way. Who not even the kidnappers? Oh, kidnappers can be kidnapping for ransom. That's not an agitation. What agitation or anything? 
ones is the issue of power. power. Now, <laughs> I never knew that Simon Ekpa is not just talking for talking sake. Now I confirm every word that comes out of his mouth. See, the truth remains that if you like, you take it. If you like, you leave it. He is really giving them woto woto. In fact, Simon Ekpa injection is going on and they are feeling it and they are taking the vaccine and is entering their bones and marrow for Soludo crying out to people that he wants to take Anabra State from Simon Ekpa. Oh my goodness. Now, he said that Simon Ekpa succeeded in taking eight local government areas. <laughs> That the Ono government they are calling, that they are people that are known. That they are fight, they say they are fighting for agitation. They never knew that they are doing criminal. He said that the city at home will not work anymore. That those boys that are inside the forest, they are going to fetch them out. Now, my question to some people that are happy. They are jubilating, rejoicing that, oh, yes, Soludo fire down, Soludo fire down. We told you that guy is a criminal, that guy is this, that guy is that. Soludo, you people should try, try by all means to, to bring this guy down. Do you know that anything that touched Simon Ekpa touched the IPOB? You don't know. If something happened to Simon Ekpa today, don't think that that the same thing will not happen to Nadi Kanu. The same thing will happen to Mazinab the Kanu. I am telling you just the basic truth. Now, when he is talking, he is indirectly telling you about the Eastern Security Network that are in the forest. If you don't know, you are you say you are hardcore of Biafra, and Soludo is automatically passing message to you about the Eastern Security Network. Tell me, were you not the one that is telling Soludo that the Eastern Security Network, they are in the farms, they are in the forest, they are this. And every time when Governor Soludo is talking, he referred to it. Tell you that those ones that are in the forest, they will fetch all of them out. And you are happy that he is going to, he, he is fighting Simon Ekpa. See, Soludo is talking to all the IPOB. He is talking to the agitators. He is not talking to one person. That is where you are getting it wrong. Maybe because you hear it at home. And he also said that if you take it at home, you take one day from a week. Remember that it was announced that even when Mazinam the Kanu will be appearing in court, there will be sit at home. Those things did not also go well with Soludo. I am telling you the truth. I am surprised that you are clapping for Soludo. Soludo that went to visit Mazinam the Kanu and snap pictures just to do show off on social media and to the world. To this very moment, when the Soludo talks about Mazenam the Kanu, even the speech he is make he made, why did he not call the name of Mazenam the Kanu and ask for the release of Mazenam the Kanu? If he so much loved Mazenam the Kanu as he claimed, see, it's better you know that these people they are indirectly talking to you, they are passing message to you, even you that is IPOP member that is a close pally, a close friend. To Governor Soludo, he's also passing a message to you. I am telling you, he's also passing a message to you. So, my communistic people, this is the order that I bring, and I will keep on saying it that anybody that is accusing Simon Ekpa is automatically accusing Mazina the Kanu and accusing all the IPOB member. You might be an IPOB member, you are a best friend to Governor Soludo, and you are encouraging some Governor Soludo to, to call uh, uh, Simon Ekpa as a criminal. All of you, that is what he's referring to because he also referred to the Eastern Security Network. So nobody is excluded. I see, I don't really know the day you will, the, the better you understand these things. I don't really know when some people are going to understand this thing that any step they take against Simon Ekpa, automatically they are taking it against Mazinab the Kanu. It has come to that and this is what we keep on saying. That is just the basic truth. So my communistic people, I say let me bring you the update. So Ludo on the talk matter again. So please do want to share the video, like and subscribe so that a lot of people will know that <laughs> we still stand by the word and say that if anything they say about Simon Ekpa, automatically they are saying it to Mazenam the Kanu. And this attack that is at, they are attacking Simon Ekpa today is automatically affecting Mazenam the Kanu if they don't know 
we got to make them to understand this. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your time. Please share this video. Thank you. And bye-bye.